Okay, we are going to talk today about percent of change. Um, you can go ahead and read this. When an increase or decrease in an amount is expressed as a percent, the percent is called the percent of change. If the new number is greater, it's percent increase. If it's smaller, it's percent decrease. Um, and you can find that percent of change by using the following proportion. So we are using this right here. Our percent of change over 100 equals the amount of change over the original. You need to remember the original goes on the bottom. And then the amount of change is the difference between the change. Okay? So, for example, one, the percent of change between 48 and 60, that amount of change, if you do 60 for minus 48, you get 12. 12 is the amount of change. The original is 48. And we're looking for the percent, so it's x over 100. Okay? So, when you're doing this, we cross multiply 48x equals 12 times 100 is 1,200. Oops, forgot the x. And then we divide by 48. So 1,200 divided by 48 is 25. So we would say there's a 25% increase because it went up. Okay, the originals to the new went up. Example 2, from 30 to 22. Well, from 30 to 22, that amount of change is 8. So amount of change, the original is 30 equals x over 100. When we cross multiply 30x, 8 times 100 is 800, and then 800 divided by 30 is, let's see, 800 divided by 30 is 26.6 percent, we'll round that up, 26.7 percent in this original that you went down so it's a decrease and I can't fit that all a 26.7 percent decrease okay so go ahead and pause the video here work on the next page is you tries so work on those and then start the video back up to here so, word problems. If there is an increase or decrease from a previous year, think about how that affects the percent. What does that mean? Okay, so a cube watermelon, yes, they actually exist. You can see it right here. Sold for $30 this year. This is a 12% increase from last year's price. So, if you think about it, last year's price was $30. A 12% increase means it's now your $30 plus another 12%. Well, 100% is your $30 plus the 12% means this increase, it's 112%. So if we find 112% of, oh wait, 112% is what it sold for of last year's price is the $30 for this year's price. Okay, so 12% increase from last year's price. So 112% of last year's price is $30, which is this year's price. So 112% of last year sold for $30 this year, so is 30, and we need to find last year's. Okay, so here we go. Cross multiply, 112x, 30 times 100 is 3,000. And then you do 3,000 divided by 112, and you get 26.8 percent, or 20, sorry, $26.80, and $26.80, okay. Wait, I'm going to back up there just a minute. Sorry, I was thinking I was finding a percent. When you actually do this out, you get... 26.79, so $26.79. Don't round up, round to the nearest cents on that one. So there you go, $26.79. Okay, the next one. There has been a 17% decrease in sales over the last year. Last year's sales was 1,200. So that means a 17% decrease, you're going to do 100 minus 17, is 83%. So now we're finding... 83% of last year's price, so uh, last year's sales was 1,200, so 83% of 1,200 is this year's sale, 
okay, because it was a 17% decrease, that means the actual thing was 83%. The actual price was 83%. So you're going to do cross multiply again, 100 times x equals 83 times 1200 is 99,600. And then we divide by 100, those cancel, we get 900 in $96. Those are the sales this year. Okay, so notice that in, let me change this so you can see it. Notice in that this example, 30 was on top, our X was on the bottom. Down in this one, X was on the top. It all depends on what you have. Okay, if it's an increase or decrease of sales, last year's price always goes on the bottom. Okay, the original price on the bottom and your new price, this year's price on the top. Okay, so go ahead, you can stop the video now and go on and do the U-tries on the next page.